Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you, ECB Thursday. 4th of June. Euro is in the uh, crosshairs today uh, and all the Euro crosses. Should be a light, uh, light morning here. Kind of just like treading water now. We printed that 50, what did we get up to? 59 high in Euro, now we're back at 15. Um, probably some uh, profit taking into the ECB. So I think Euro will probably be under pressure here. Um, we talked about um, selling Euro Swiss uh, between 108 and 1850 yesterday. Uh, the high was 19. We like to sit short Euro Swiss um, now. We think that's going to be like the sort of reach stretch high up there at 19. So um, if you want to be conservative, you know, pay the 80s here and try and resell the 90s and get your. Um, get your average above 108.50 um, if you don't want to lose the position uh, which is the risk if you trade like that then uh, just sit tight and uh, stay the course dollars are also yesterday we're fishing for longs at the figure low was 90 um, which was annoying but uh, we're sticking with this. Uh, we do think risk is going to turn this week, and we'll see. We'll see how this this holds up. You got really, really big support at 73. Um, looking for the turn so we can add with conviction. Right now we have a little uh, little minnow position here, but it's a good starter and keeps us gives us a bit of focus. Uh, for the price action, we like dollars are uh, top side the rest of the week. Aussie, just kind of annoying um, is the best way to describe it. We're going to stick with our capitulation call uh, y yesterday. This move to 69.83 is capitulation. Uh, we traded down to 56. Uh, and then we traded back up to 58 and we've talked about this those who've listened uh, when we see a change in tra change in trend or change in direction you often get this hysterical um, sort of fuck you price action right bulls get fucked bears get fucked bulls get fucked bears get fucked shorts are stopped longs are stopped um, this is usually telling on uh, on the change so we're sticking with this um, you gotta keep it light while this thing is changing direction you gotta look for a place um, where you can add conviction and for us it's through 50 uh, which is kind of ironic on Tuesday we were like let's sell Aussie at 68.50 but it didn't feel right so we had a quick cut there um, but I think we're gonna be uh, pushing the chips a little bit uh, if we get Aussie back through 68.50 Bank of Canada marginally hawkish had some positive things to say. Um, a lot of it was obviously priced in. Not a lot to do here, um, but we are watching. Um, we are watching this this old friend, Eurocad, one fifty fifty. Just be patient. I have no idea how or why it's going to get there. If it ever gets there, and if it doesn't, I don't really care. Um, but just from a technical perspective, this looks like an interesting trade. Uh, short through 150.50. Dollar yen 
driven by rates a little bit yesterday. Yeah, high of 07 last night, sort of 80.07 made a lot of sense. Um, U.S. yields pop through 75 basis points on the uh, on the 10 year. They're back below that area now, but we are sort of flirting with um, very very important levels. If you want to look at the rates, it's U.S. 10Y. And you can see what we're talking about here. We've been in this sort of congestion-y sideways motion. And why have we been why have we been in this sort of sideways motion? Obviously the Fed, you know, QE, they're trying to control rates. Um, but this will be your canary. What this will mean if this gets a little bit out of hand, which it hasn't yet, let's face it, this is not out of hand at all. Um, this means there's less balance sheet action. This means it could be in, mean the beginning of tapering. Um, and this has major consequences um, for risk and for the dollar in general. So keep an eye on it. Uh, I wouldn't suggest trading ZN. Yesterday we, we got short some ZN. And then I just started thinking about it. I was like, why am I fucking short? Um, ZN right now uh, even though I was in the money and it kind of looked like a pretty decent trade I was like I know who's on the bid here um, it's like fucking Chewbacca on the bid no one wants to fight with Chewbacca right not only do you have no idea what the hell he's saying um, but fucker strong man so let's just wait till he's out of the building and then we can uh, sell ZN um but keep an eye on on yields here, and this of course will be a driver for dollar yen. Not only have we technically broken, but the story um, looks kind of interesting. What else is out there? Euro yen. What a fuck you that. I mean, my God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven green days, five hundred points in seven days. Um, Here's your V. Do we do a sneak peek above 122.90? Surely cannot rule that out. Um, but if you're long, you got to be wary. We are not long, um, but you got to be wary. Uh, this is probably a sell the first time up there at, at, at 123. Um, but boy, tricky stuff. Tricky, tricky stuff. What else? Cable, no real idea. We're trading into the short side yesterday, but then we had that one last sort of fuck you move up to 126.20. Uh, now we're 80 points lower. Top side doesn't make any sense to us, especially with these Brexit negotiations going pretty poorly. Um, but hard to trade. But short cable looks correct risk reward now is a little screwy you have to leave your stop above 126.40 <clears throat> so I just sit tight on that focus is obviously um, let's take a look at Boone's today actually because ECB Boone's are doing a nice little downward motion as everyone knows we love being short Boone's uh, up towards minus 70 basis points we're at minus 35 now, so we're dead center. Um, no position at the moment. But um, Boons are pricing in a very rosy ECB. And then they're pricing in an increase of the PEP and a totally in command Chrissy Lagarde. Seems a bit optimistic to me. Um, Considering I don't really feel like she has a good command on what the hell's going on. Um, she still has a lot to prove. She's still a rookie. Uh, so watch Boons here. Boons could pop higher. And if Boons do pop higher, um, Euro, that means Euro is going to go down. And normally fixed income 
on ECB days is a good good harbinger to what the hell's going on. So keep your eye on Boons today. Finally, gold. Uh, mother of God. Sixteen ninety the low. Fifty bucks from the high. I don't know what to say. We don't have a gold position, but looks pretty hard to trade, right? We're just dicking around between seventeen fifty and sixteen eighty. I keep saying they're, this is going to get below 1680 and there's going to be this like cataclysmic move lower. Uh, even though I think gold is going higher, um, we'll have to just see. No position in gold. Tough day for the bulls yesterday. Um, the ballsy buyers in the 90s look pretty good. Just like they looked pretty good over here on May 27th. Um, we call them the ballsy buyers in the 90s. Anyway, that's all I got. Not much to say. In general, uh, we're waiting for the ECB and um, see how Chrissy does today. There'll be, there'll be no change in the rates or, or the structure. We just want to uh, wait for the press conference and see what, see what happens with the pet. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.